Let me show you a little uh, head gate design. I got this from my brother-in-law. Uh, I'll show you some pictures of his in just a second. But this is uh, for goats or sheep. If you have a problem, um, a problem with uh, a mama not wanting to take a baby, you can put her head in here <clears throat> to immobilize her so the, the baby can suck. It's, uh, I'll give you some dimensions. Uh, real simple to make. Uh, these are one befores, two befores, and you want this one to be able to slide so you can lock the head down. So what I've done is when I screwed these together, there's another two before here on the back, uh, when I screwed these together I put some washers in between <clears throat> where the screws were going to be, some washers in here to give it some uh, some room. This one is not going to move. This Three of them are, are stationary, of course, and then this one is the one that's going to move. So you've got to have some, some uh, space there in between it so it's not, uh, uh, it's not locked in there. Anyway, um, let me just show you some pictures of my brother-in-law's setup. He used to raise a lot of goats, and I think he had about 15 of these things. And I went over there and took a bunch of pictures, took some measurements, and that's how I built this one. So let me show you some pictures of his first. So here we are looking down on it, and uh, like I said, I've got some washers in between here to give this one when I when I especially when I put this one in, I uh, put some washers, some spacers, some spacer of some kind in there to uh, to keep make that one free. Uh, got a little chain on here. Once you get them in there, just chain them down, wrap it around that screw, and. Uh, and you're good. Um, I've got a little feed trough here on the side, on the back side. You reposition here. Okay, this is looking at the back side of it. In other words, the sheep or the goat's going to have their head in here eating from the little plate. You put them out, build them a little dinner plate. Now, if they have uh, access from the sides, then uh, you'd need to come in here and, and uh, put some kind of partition right there, you know, so they couldn't come in from the sides and they either either side. This should be probably up against a wall or something, but you don't you don't want them to get in here. You want on the only access, obviously, the only access to be through here. And then uh, tie a string around it if they're a little skittish. Tie a string around your little chain there, and then um, from a distance you can close it. If uh, you know if they they won't let you get real close to them depends on your 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 livestock. But they won't let you get very close. And uh, as you have it unchained, they put their head in. If you're 10 feet away with a string on this, close them up. Then walk over and lock them down. I've just got another screw here. This is just an old dog chain. I keep a lot of chain. Uh, the old dog chains, the stuff I've had over the years, I don't throw anything away. I've, I've hung lights with them in the shop. I just I use chain for everything. So um, that's a that, that's just a some neat little design. Again, not mine, my brother-in-law's, and uh, I don't know where he got it. But anyway, it's uh, pretty cool. This is looking down on the top of it. You want this to be movable, so you need to make sure these are not these two befores are not drawn up tight, or it won't move. Obviously. Okay, the dimensions are as follows, and the reason it's multicolored is because I just used some wood that I had. These are old two befores that I took off an old bench that I had. Uh, again, these are these four uprights are one by fours. You want your space about four inches at the bottom, and to stick their head in, I'm giving them six inches. It's about six inches up here, four inches down here, six inches here. Of course, your pivot point is down here on that screw right there. That's where it pivots from. And uh, 
it's about all together. All together, it's two feet tall. These, this two before obviously is on right on the bottom. And this is on close to the top, giving you enough room to, uh, you know, for this to move and everything. You want sticking above, up above this. So, uh, you know, a couple of inches between here and here. These two befores are 20 inches, so it's basically uh, it's 21 and a half wide. And uh, the little feed vent on the back is whatever you want it to be. You can even put a bucket back there if you want to, instead of that little feed trough. Instead of that feed trough there, you could just uh, you could hang a bucket right there, a little short, I mean a, a, a shallow bucket of some kind, and and let that be your uh, your, the feed you, uh, that you're going to give them. So, uh, but it's worked out real well. I've got kind of a skid on the bottom here. Uh, two two befores that are on the bottom to give it some uh, uh, to, to get it up off the ground. And when I installed it, uh, well, I'll show you that in a second. How I installed it uh, in my little sheep shed. I put a lip around the feed trough here just so. Uh, they wouldn't be scattering feed, spilling that out and everything. But again, if you used a shallow bucket or something, it's going to be uh, even better. Uh, but this is it. Just uh, make sure one of them moves four inches here at the bottom. And then I give them a, a pretty generous there to give them six inches, stick their head in. Now, if your goats are horned, that's probably a different story. Or sheep are horned, that's a different story. You may need to build this differently. Uh, just keep that in mind. And... Uh, now, I think all his sheep were uh, Nubians, if I remember right, so uh, he didn't have the horn problem. Um, but let me show you how it, uh, how it looks installed in a sheep shed. So to attach the head gate inside this pen here, I drove four spikes in the ground, sharpened the ends, drove them in, two of them short, two of them long. And um, that gives it enough, you know, if you had a cow or something like that, it's not going to be... Not going to be sturdy enough, but for a sheep or a goat, be plenty sturdy. And, Seems um, to be. I'll show you how I screwed the head gate to it. So here's the head gate inside my shed, uh, and if you don't have, if you don't have uh, a shed for your goats or sheep, this is just a simple, simple shed to make. Um, this one took me about two two and a half hours to make nothing uh, but here it is and in, in the way I installed it <clears throat> since I don't have a, a rigid wall to mount it to because this is you know obviously not rigid with the cattle pan I <clears throat> sharpened two two by twos this one here and one on the other side and just drove them in the ground at uh, at this um, at this juncture Okay, then I screwed the uh, the top in. I screwed it in there. Screwed it a couple of times in here. So this is not going anywhere. Now again, <clears throat> this is not for a large large livestock. This is not for a cow, something like that. But it is uh, perfect for sheep, goats. Uh, tell you a little story. I was building this. <clears throat> the main reason I was uh, building this is because one of my sheep, uh, brand new mama, first time mama. Sometimes they will uh, not accept their offspring. So you have to confine them uh, in a smaller space and perhaps even um, uh, secure their head. Uh, secure them where they can't get away and let the sheep, uh, let the little lamb nurse. So I'm, I'm, uh, I, I ran around, I built this. It didn't take long to build the whole thing. But I built it, came out here, drove these two by twos in the ground uh, mounted it to it and I'd already pinned her up in the baby before I started doing it put a little plate here you know got it all ready uh, for her to to be able to stick her head in and eat out of and I was gonna secure it up and I was gonna had a had a string on it had this string where when she put her head in it all I had to do was stand outside the pen and pull the string And shut her up in there okay and soon I mean the instant the second I got this thing fixed 
and in the ground and ready to go into service. I looked over there and that little lamb was just wearing her out, was sucking her dry. <laughs> My sweet little devil. So, uh, and then I since have talked to a lady and she said, main thing you need to do, something in that, that situation where you have a a mother, mother that's not wanting the lamb or maybe a weak lamb, uh, is... Uh, is just put them in a confined space. She uses a trailer. She said, I just, uh, I've got an old trailer, uh, an enclosed trailer with the top on it, and I just put them in there for a few days, and they're fine. So uh, I left her in here for a couple of days and, and just making sure, you know, that she was really, uh, the lamb was getting real strong. There was no doubt it was uh, eaten, and I watched it eat a bunch. So, uh, but that's kind of funny to that I went through building all this. Should have done it ahead of time, but uh, built built this and everything. And then looked over there. I mean, the instant I got the last screw, <laughs> screw screwed in, I looked over there, and there she was. That little lamb was just, just barreling on that baby, on that mama. <laughs> Thought that was a funny little story. Um, anyway, this uh, this worked real well. Uh, they did. You know, subsequently, she did put her head in here, and and I didn't have to close her up, but uh, she definitely stuck her head in, opened it up, plenty of room for the head. Uh, just have a little feed trough here of some kind. I would, if it, my next step, had I not seen her uh, with the lamb sucking, my next next step would have been to put uh, a piece of cattle panel or something across here to where she couldn't come in from the side. And, you know, where you want her, you want her to have one thing in mind, that's to eat, and to eat with her head through there and not sticking it on, on either side. So you'd have to, to do something here, uh, just another piece of wood, solid piece of wood, or uh, uh, some of the cattle panel, just a piece of the cattle panel maybe right here to where she couldn't reach through. Uh, cattle panel may not be good because she probably would reach through and maybe get her head stuck, especially if it's a horned sheep, uh, a horned sheep or a goat. So, uh, but just just uh, you know, just a piece of wood uh, of plywood, uh, one by ten. Whatever, that'd work fine. Just, uh, you know, something like this is. But it's just here on each side where she couldn't, uh, she's not going to be able to reach it from the side. And then you just uh, milk or do whatever you need to do. I know milking, you're going to want to have a little higher stand. But you, this can be raised up, put this up a little higher, and this will make a nice little milk stand. And it's just real easy to make. And put your little clip up here. Let you get her head in it. Get her head in it. You're done. Okay. So, anyway, there it is. Installed in the sheep pen. Greenhouse number two. And I just saw him, and i got to do something about him. He is not going to build a nest in this thing. I'm going to see to that. I don't do wasps. I don't like wasps. And he is not going to like what I do to him. Anyway. This is it. Get a little windy. Hope you can hear me. Hope I didn't have problems coming through. Uh, but uh, you might want to try to make one of these things and have it just in case. Uh, and that's what this one's here for. It's just in case. All right. We're gone.